Hello and welcome. Today we will crochet this quick and easy baby blanket. The colors remind me of cotton candy. It can be made in any size that we want. This is a perfect project for beginners. So let's begin. To crochet this baby blanket, we will need three colors of blanket yarn or super chunky yarn. I am using yellow, blue and pink to give the cotton candy effect. We will also need a 9mm crochet hook. We will need scissors, measuring tape, tapestry needle is optional to weave in the ends. We can also do it with the hook. This is a gentle size chart. You can decide the length and the width that you want your baby blanket to be. We are going to chain the width of the baby blanket. Begin with a slip knot. Take the tail end of the yarn and loop it over the working end. Then take the tail end of the yarn and go below the loop to form a pretzel shape. You will catch the second loop in your crochet hook carefully and then pull it out. This is your slip knot. Tug on the tail end to tighten. Now we will chain in even numbers the breadth of our baby blanket. To chain Go below the yarn, catch the yarn in your hook and pull it through the loop. This is called yarn over and pull it through the loop. Yarn over and pull it through the loop. Continue till you have the breadth of your baby blanket and make sure it is an even number. Your chain should be the width of your baby blanket. Place it straight against a measuring tape to measure it. Your chain should be an even number. Row 1. I am going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook. The loop on the hook does not count as a chain. Skip the first chain. Into the second chain, insert your hook. I am going to go into the top loop. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. This is your first single crochet. Now chain 1. After your chain 1, you are going to skip the next chain. So we worked in this chain. We will skip the next chain. And into the next chain, we will make a single crochet. So insert your hook into the next chain. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through both the loops. Now we will repeat this. Just chain 1. Skip the next chain and single crochet in the next chain. We have worked in this chain. Skip this chain. And in this chain, make a single crochet. We are just going to repeat this till the end of the row. Chain 1, skip 1, chain, single crochet in the next chain. I will meet you once you reach the end of the row. End row 1 by a single crochet in the last chain. Let us begin row 2. At the end of the row, you can count your stitches. You will count your single crochet and your chain 1 spaces. Your chain 1 space will count as a stitch. Your stitch count will be your number of chain minus 1. If you made 40 chain, your stitch count will be 40 minus 1 which is 39. Your stitch count will remain the same for all the rows. Chain 1 and turn your work for row 2. After we turn our work, we are going to begin working in this first single crochet. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. And in this first single crochet, we will begin working. So insert your hook. Below both the loops of the V of the first single crochet and make a single crochet. After the single crochet, we are going to make a single crochet in this chain 1 space of row 1. So take your hook and insert it into the space. Now make your single crochet in the way that you normally do. Now we are going to chain 1. Skip this next single crochet and go to the chain space. So don't work in the single crochet but insert your hook into this next chain space. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through both the loops to make a single crochet. Now we will just repeat the pattern till the last chain space. Chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the chain 1 space. Continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. I have made a single crochet in the last chain 1 space. Now in this last single crochet, I am going to make a single crochet and then switch over to blue color. Begin making your single crochet. Turn your work so that you can see the last stitch clearly. Insert your hook below both the loops of the V of the last stitch. Then yarn over and pull through the loop. Once you have two loops on your hook, you are going to drop the yellow yarn and pick up the new yarn which is blue. Now catch them in a loop form on your crochet hook like I have. 
Now pull it through both the loops on your hook. You have now changed colors. Now tug on all the yarns to tighten. I am not going to cut the yarns. I will just carry them forward. If you want, you can cut the yarns and rejoin them. So now we will begin row 3. Begin with a chain 1. Now you are going to turn your work. The loop on the hook does not count as a stitch. This is our chain 1 stitch. In this first single crochet, we will make our first single crochet. Make sure you go below both the loops of the V and make your first single crochet. After you do that, you are going to chain 1. You are going to skip over the single crochet and go to the chain space. So, in the chain space, insert your hook and make a single crochet. Continue in the same way till the end of the row. Chain 1, skip the single crochet and then single crochet in the chain 1 space. Chain 1, skip the next single crochet, single crochet in the chain 1 space. I will meet you once you reach the end of this row. I have single crochet in the last chain 1 space and I have 2 single crochets left. Chain 1, skip this next single crochet and into the last single crochet. Make sure that you turn the single crochet and then you go below both the loops of the V and make your single crochet to end row 3. Chain 1 and turn your work for row 4. Now row 4 is exactly the same as row 2. Begin with a single crochet in this first single crochet. Now you are going to make a single crochet in this chain 1 space. Now you are going to chain 1. Skip this next single crochet and single crochet in the next chain 1 space. I will meet you once you reach the end of this row. I have made a single crochet in the last chain 1 space. Now I am going to make a single crochet in the last single crochet to end row 4. Chain 1 and turn your work for row 5. Row 5 is the same as row 3. Single crochet in the first single crochet. Chain 1, skip the single crochet and single crochet in the next chain space. Chain 1, skip the single crochet, single crochet in the next chain space and continue till the end of the row and I will meet you there. Chain 1 and turn your work for row 6. Row 6 is the same as row 2. In the last stitch, we are going to switch colors. I will meet you once you reach. I have reached the end of row 6. I have made a single crochet in the last chain 1 space. Now I am going to make a single crochet in this last single crochet and switch colors. So be sure to go below both the loops of the V. Yarn over and pull through. Once you have two loops on your hook, drop the current yarn and you are going to pick up the new yarn in a loop form. Catch it on your hook and then pull it through both the loops. Now you are going to tuck on all the yarns to tighten. Row 7 is the same as row 3. Chain 1 and turn your work. Single crochet in the first single crochet of the row. Now you are going to chain 1. Skip the next single crochet and single crochet in the chain 1 space. Continue doing this till the end of the row. Just move aside all the other yarns and work with the pink yarn. We have made 4 rows in blue. Now we are going to make 4 rows in pink. We have made 1 row in pink. We will make 3 more. So row 8 is the same as row 2. Row 9 is the same as row 3. And row 10 is the same as row 2. At the end of row 10, we will change colors back to yellow and I will meet you there. I have reached the end of row 10 and I am now going to switch over to the yellow yarn. So just pull up the yellow yarn and switch over. Don't pull too tight or too loose. You can do this or you can cut the yarn and rejoin it. So in the last stitch, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. Once you have two loops, drop the pink and pick up the yellow. Catch the yellow yarn on your hook and then pull it through both the loops. Now you will continue making two rows in yellow. I have reached the last yellow stitch and now I am going to switch over to the blue. Once I have two loops, I am going to drop the yellow yarn and pull up the blue yarn. Now we will just repeat these rows. Four rows in blue, four rows in pink and then two rows in yellow. Just repeat this pattern till you reach the height of the blanket. Four in blue, four in pink and then two in yellow. When you switch colors, just pull up the color that you want. Make sure that you keep the yarns from getting entangled. Once you finish, you are going to leave about 5 to 6 inches of each yarn and then cut it. We are going to use this to weave the yarn in. Now we will make the border. 
Once you cut the yellow yarn, we are going to just pull out a loop. Now when the slip knot is on the bottom left of the work, this is the right side of the work and on the other side is the wrong side. We are going to work the border on the right side of the work. This is the right side of our baby blanket. This is the bottom chain. Then we have worked up the rows like this. So now we are going to make the border. We will make it only on two sides. On this side and on this side. I am going to make one side with blue and one side with pink. You can choose any colors that you want. I am going to attach the yarn at the bottom here. Now I will work over all these ends to hide them and weave them in. Insert your hook into the corner stitch. You can see that my stitch is a little loose. I don't know why. So I'm just going to insert below both the loops. Now, catch the yarn in a loop form on your crochet hook. Pull it through. After you finish, you're going to chain one. Single crochet in the same stitch. So go back to the same stitch and make a single crochet. Now you are going to single crochet in this next stitch. We are going to just work over these yarns. To space the single crochet evenly, I am going to make one single crochet in every single crochet row. So now just continue making single crochet till the end of the row and I will meet you once you finish. Once you reach the end, you are going to leave 5 inches, cut the yarn and then pull out a loop. Now on the other side, just attach the pink yarn and make the border in exactly the same way and I will meet you once you finish. Once you finish, if you have any yarn ends left, you can weave them in either with the tapestry needle or with your crochet hook. Let me show you how to do it with the crochet hook. You will weave in the ends at the back of your work. Take your crochet hook and insert it in one stitch like this. Now catch the yarn that you want to weave in on the hook and pull it through. Go below the next stitch. Catch the yarn that you want to weave in in the hook and then pull it through. Continue doing this till the yarn is weaved in. Once you finish, you are going to take a scissor and then cut it off. If you want, you can crochet a tiny heart applique and attach it to your baby blanket. If you have enjoyed this cotton candy baby blanket, please like, share, subscribe and press on the bell icon so you will be notified for new videos. Here are some tutorials you may enjoy.